this video requires that I play music. Okay? Ogaranya. Ogaranya. Eh, living la vida loca. Anyways. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Timmy, and if it's your first time here, welcome to this channel. Hope you are here to stay. How do you make sure you do that? Subscribe to my channel, easy peasy. And if it's not your first time here, welcome back. Today, from the title of this video, you already know what I'm about to say or what I'm going to say. The fact that I finally got a job. <laughs> it was a long time coming. I am now, yeah, I'm finally a project manager in the United Kingdom. Do you know how such honor it is to like, say that anyways i'll give you guys the whole load down um i have a script here actually because i'm not trying to miss anything so i'm looking at my script from time to time i began this journey in uk from you know last year january 2022 when i came in as a student and then um, i did my masters i kind of had some jobs here and there that i was doing but it wasn't like something i studied because no company will want to employ you as a student especially if you can only work 20 hours and then um, i moved from uh, was it kitchen assistant to a support worker and you know i was sure moving here and there with jobs and that was it i just abandoned youtube because bills had to be paid i kept on i was i won't say struggling but i kept on working and i knew that you know it's for a greater good is towards a means i just kept praying that god has to settle me in this country i just lacked motivation on youtube i, I was not even motivated to like upload any video especially because my videos were i won't say it wasn't doing well it was just picking up and i needed more I, I needed more money, I needed more time. I was working, I was studying back and forth. Anyways, fast forward to the ending of last year, around October, September, October, I started applying for like real jobs in like the job market as a project manager, especially entry level since I'm just a student, just finishing. I was applying, you know, see, uh, there's no website that no have my account my account details total jobs um, linkedin and uh, what's on indeed cv library there's no track jobs all of them they have my cv there was no place i was not applying i don't think this is a joke when people tell you that they actually apply to 150 places i applied to 40 places in one day can you believe and I kept on saying, whenever I come on YouTube to do anything, I keep on saying, you know, I'm trying to figure some things out. And when I figure it out, when I come back, I'm back for good. You guys, I have figured it out finally. And this is me with the back for good that I kept saying. We are back, baby. We are back. I kept applying every day, you know, back and forth, back and forth. And uh, I knew I was going to get the job eventually. My friend, or my friends who came in like a year before me, all of them, they already had they already had their own jobs. They were already working as project manager, project coordinators, product managers, and it was the same story for them. But I kept on saying, God, I need just one interview. I just need one interview. I don't I, I don't know why I just kept saying that because I was so sure that. If I interview for like a role that I know I'm qualified for, I'm going to get that job. I was very sure. You guys, you can apply to 50 places and not get any response from them. What? It's very possible. I applied to, what? I applied to close to 700 places and I'm not joking. I applied to close to 700 places and I think I got response from like three for interviews. <laughs> And then uh, it was just one I really liked. I um, I applied to that place. I had three in mind actually. One where my friend works, one where I liked that I know someone that works there, and one where my cousin works. I applied to all of them anyways. And um, I didn't get a feedback from the one where my friend works. And the one where the one I wanted, I was on my way to work that morning when I just got a call and 
They were like, hello, is this team top? I'm like, okay, yes. I thought it was a scam call or it was all those people that are trying to sell something to you. I picked up the call and they're like, oh, um, you just applied to so 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 and so. Um, we're, glad, we're happy to inform you you have moved to the next stage of interview. When I had the interview like this, I was in the park on my way to work. I almost fell to my knees. I was so excited. I was so happy because I, I won't say I didn't put in much effort into applying into those roles, but I know some roles that and some um, other um, jobs that I doubled the effort in applying and they didn't get back to me. You guys don't get frustrated when you like putting your best in applying for a job and you know they don't get back to you. See, eh? it's their loss, okay? If they can't see that, if they can't see that through you, through their application and they can't see your worth, through that application, especially see what they put you through and you fulfill all those whatever and they don't see that in you, don't feel bad, okay? It's their loss, keep on going. The person who values you, is going to eventually notice you. I almost fell to my knees. I was so happy. I booked my interview immediately for the first, the first day and the first slot available. I booked my interview. I can't forget. You guys, when I say your circle really matters, this is what i mean all my friends most of the ones who came in here before me for the master's degree were already working on my day of interview i had a presentation again and all of us we sat down look like i came up with my powerpoint interview i did everything blah 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 and they all prepped me for my interview like we all sat down on a team score were like five on that team school and they were all asking me questions and I had to answer them very smartly. I did my presentation for them on Teams and they timed me like I had seven minutes to present and if you're um, applying as a project manager, you have to be very time conscious because time management is one of the qualities we look for or they want to see in a project manager. You have to be very time conscious when you're doing stuff. So they timed me and I delivered on time because I'm a BB. I did that on time and uh, you know, every possible question that could come up, they asked me. My friends asked me on, on the call and then I just, you know, studied and prepared on my own from then on. Tell me why on the day of interview, I was stammering. <laughs> I started rebuking the devil. Get the behind me. I rebuke him, Jesus' name. I rebuke that devil because this can be happening. Simple question that I could see, I could read from every corner of my brain. I was stammering. I could not remember it. You have cold feet a little. You get anxious a little. But I will do it. Especially if you have God on your side, see, yeah. hmm. that period, I fasted, fast, pray, fast, me, and then SPPD, one, <laughs> six starts, I go point SPPD, pray, 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 look, thank God, see, yeah, I'm not perfect, I'm not the smartest, I'm not the, you know, the best person in this world or whatever, but I just know it was God that did this for me, mm -hmm. I can't say this is what I did or this is what I said that you know made make that made me get this job, but honestly, it's just God. Then after the interview, I <laughs> in my mind I was like, you know what, if they don't call me, I don't mind. But if they call me, yes, I know I got it, blah blah blah. And I was having some mixed feelings. As I was getting close, they, they, they actually said you'll get back to me in two weeks. And uh, because it's an entry level role, they can take as long as they want. They didn't need to fill it up like the role immediately. After two weeks, no feedback. And it was Easter period. I was expecting, oh, after Easter, I'll get feedback. Easter passed, nothing. And it was almost my birthday. And I kept telling God, God, please, I need this. I need this as a birthday present. I need this as a birthday gift. This will be it for me. Oh, Lord, please. My birthday came and it went. 
I didn't get feedback. And if you guys notice, I was not really lively. If you watch my birthday vlog, I was not. I was dragging because that was like going to be the cherry on top for me on my birthday, but it didn't happen. I was kind of dragging, like very sluggish about it. And after some time, I, I was just I I had to just cheer up and not let that bother me. It went by, and then let's let's say like a month and three weeks I, I i got a call asking for my um, visa status and i was like oh like i'm still on a student visa blah 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 and we we're like oh that's fine you know we're able to sponsor this and that and i was like okay okay can you send me the details of your visa like my passport my brp everything and i sent it to them and then i told my sister that these people just called me and asked for this and that would they just be calling me to ask me for this without giving me an offer? I had no recollected offer then. Shortly after, uh, about the following week, I just got the call to say, Hello, is this Tammy Top? Yes, it is. <sighs> <sighs> we are happy to inform you. We, we, uh, what should I like? I'm happy to offer you the, the role of a project manager with us in the blah 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 office and your salary will be blah 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 and on body blah 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 and so on and so forth and see I, I couldn't even listen to any teacher saying again I could not even hear again I was just <laughs> I was on the floor rolling on the floor like bro if you had been there I caught see I picked my phone I was calling everybody hello hello I couldn't talk see I wish I recorded this from the anxiety and from the way I was like short of breath people were like scared wondering what was going on I love it too I tears happiness crying laughter everything I was going through like seven emotions in one second all together like that was how it was happening What, what can I say, honestly? After the call, we, oh, yeah, I received like numerous emails for my onboarding process, this and that. It was still like a dream to me. Even in one month into that, like me receiving my offer, I, I was still replaying the phone call of my offer in my head and in my mind I was like oh my goodness I can't believe this I cannot believe this is this really happening and I had to pinch myself my mom was the happiest because that day felt like the week of her birthday she was like you know this is like my birthday gifts that God has given me I'm so happy like I don't want anything else I'm, this is the best birthday ever nah it was very nice so finally finally i am a project manager let me now tell you something remember i said i was saying to myself i just need one interview just one hmm? i just need one person to interview me this was the first and only interview i did and i got the job <laughs> they shot you bro look at god look look at god hmm? look at god definitely definitely i will have to give you guys an update on my interview process because a lot of people have seen it one time i did one embarrassing video like that i was lamenting i'm looking for a job should i remain here should i do this I? because i was confused it was like the job was not coming forth i had to eventually like delete the video because maybe my family member who watched that video complained i was like no 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 you're a child of god you can't be doing this come on where's your faith and I'm like, you know what where's my faith actually i had to just delete the video uh, video 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 <laughs> i have to give you guys another day because people complain that they don't really get jobs especially after school is is very like it's, it's real it's a fact and that's because of the tedious and the whole back and forth about getting a job here is not that straightforward except you because most times people want jobs that will sponsor their visas right and the easiest way to go about it is through healthcare and uh, social care but if you came to uk to do masters 
I'm, I'm guessing, I'm not speaking for everybody. I'm guessing majority of us will want to like have a job in what we studied, right? Am I making sense? So I might have to give you guys like an update or like a just you know how I was able to go about it and get a job. The whole website I used, everything that I did, I will like do that. And if you need any information, yes or any specific information. I'm not telling you my company name. Don't come and ask me for that. Not because I don't want you to apply, but I want you to like go bigger, go bold. And there are some, I don't want to say there are some bad people here because actually there are some, <laughs> there are some bad people here. Let me say it. That they, they might be looking for another person's downfall, not my own. That's your business. I'm not going to tell them my company or whatever it is. They are so scared. They are gazillion. I keep saying there are more jobs than human beings in the UK. Okay. There are millions of companies that are ready to hire you. And for I will now tell you this that I'm working as a project manager in a construction firm. And that's because I have a construction background. I did a little bit of architecture as my first degree, um, OND. Ordinary National Diploma, OND in Polytechnic. Before I did Estate Management, BSc, and now Project Management. So that's why I qualified to be like a construction project manager. Okay? Um, so if there's any more information you need, I'll be able to provide that. That being said, I am moving. I kept mentioning, but I haven't said where I'm moving to. And I am moving to Newcastle. I'll be moving. Oh God, look at my makeup. See how I'm doing. I'll be moving to Newcastle in less than three weeks. And my mom is on her way here. And you know, we're going to be doing some videos together. Hopefully she's comfortable enough to sit in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. I'll see you guys in my next video where I'm going to be starting a new life in Newcastle. Mm -hmm. That is why I'm for sure, for sure, 100% sure that I am fully back on YouTube. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. And if you are out there looking for a job, keep going. Okay. You will get, you, see, you shall be die. You will find that job. Okay. You surely find that job. Thank you so much. So, so much for watching this video. All right. I will see you in my next one. Bye.